what's up guys welcome to the channel it's another beautiful day and time to get out for another ride the winter doesn't want to give up here still today is gonna be a nice beautiful day it's gonna be probably about 16 18 degrees the on sunday it is forecasted for snow again so that's calgary unfortunately and uh, the winter doesn't want to give up and uh, i'll head out to cochrane uh, that's a little town just outside of calgary and from there i'm gonna go for a short uh, off-road uh, rip i will show you a pretty cool uh, bike alarm uh, or security uh, that I have purchased a couple years ago. I never had a chance to share it with you. It's a pretty cool device. I figure it's a good thing to share. Uh, I've seen a couple posts. Uh, how do you secure the bike at night? I'm not familiar with this part of a city at all. At all. Actually, I'm on the outskirts right now, but it looks like uh, there's quite a bit of uh, recent fire here. Uh, all the farmlands, all, all the grass is burned the fences and everything it must have happened uh, quite recently because i still smell it in the air uh, burned freshly burned i didn't even know that we have oil fields that close in calgary i passed by it some already and it's uh, just uh, on the outskirts of calgary mountain range just in front of me just shows beautiful perfect clear nice sky we're approaching Cochrane right now look at that view it's just spectacular nice gravel pit over there would be nice to get in there and have some fun unless it's a construction thing hard to say Cochrane is a nice little town Especially today, in the weather like this, uh, on the foothills of the mountain, there is some old section and a newer section of Cochrane that's still that in the process of development. Turner Valley and Black Diamond. That's uh, the way I normally come to here. I'll be heading home that way. So I just turned off uh, Highway 40 here. I haven't done the road to Nordic from here. I've, uh, the only one I went to is uh, so far from here to Rocky Mountain House. So that's uh, another thing we're gonna have to do maybe this year. Uh, my buddy is gonna try to do it this weekend, but uh, that w I, I think that the weather will not cooperate because uh, it's supposed to be get pretty ugly. So I just made it to the Ghost River. Uh, last time when we were passing by, we didn't stop here, but uh, there will be like a canyon and a river down below. Okay, just here up ahead, there's that bridge and that's a vaporous, doesn't have any services. Look, it's still icy, but it's beautiful. But there's no way down there. There's a native teepee. There's quite a few native villages around here. I made it to the gravel stretch. So we'll go for a little bit. I don't have enough time to go all the way. Pretty rough out here. At least it's not too dusty so far. Last year when we went or whatever it was, uh, I think it was last year. It was uh, quite dusty. And ghost public land zone. Still too wet, way too wet. It's like a pool out there. Well, that didn't work out.
that's gonna be a nice section to go to when uh, that big ice and snow is gonna melt in there we may want to probably check that out oh yeah it is freaking dusty A bit too soft. <laughs> if you get the right idea, take you here and just gun it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more packed. <laughs> That's what he was saying is right here is rough and then it's okay. <laughs> it's a gatekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> hey buddy. How are we doing? Uh, Thomas. <laughs> not the first time, not the last time. <laughs> I know. Do it one more time, eh? <laughs> yeah. Go I think I should have stayed more in the middle. It gets pretty good. You know the trail? No, I've never been here before. <laughs> this is called Lost Night. Okay. So this is kind of like a gatekeeper here. Okay. You can get it through here. You can go a fair ways before you have more trouble. But um, never go to the left side of the road because mm -hmm. the trees shield it and it can still be ice under the grass. Oh, okay. So always stay high. It always slopes this way. Mm -hmm. So always stay high. Yeah. But honestly, I wouldn't go. <laughs> yeah. She's sliding. <laughs> well, it should be good. Yeah. <laughs> Made in Calgary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the V strong will get through that. No. So. Your call if you're going, we'll stay till you're through, or if you want to No, I think I gotta turn around, I'm not gonna take a chances. <laughs> I'd go back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think she should go through here. <laughs> so Tim, you know I do a lot of off-roading out here in my Hummer. When you see a hole with logs sticking out of it? Yeah. Deeper than you think. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, second option, maybe just go on that edge. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> yeah, that would be a better way to come back. Mm-hmm. That's doable, that's for sure. Once you get, once you're here, you're good to go. Are you guys go heading that way or no? Are you guys heading that way? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we probably wouldn't anyways, 
But the V-Strom has a street tire, so. I would definitely have thought this. But, but standing back there, I was going to go the same way you did. Oh, you got a Moscow jacket. Sweet. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah? I didn't even know they make jackets. They just started. Oh, okay. As well. Cool. It's very simplistic. Yeah, I, have, I just placed an order on the Ruka. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm waiting already two months almost. This is, I, I just got a new climb. Like my old climb is all beat up and wore out. Yeah. It's like this thing here. It's already ripping Velcro. <laughs> yeah, all my yellow is like that, like it's all faded. But anyways. Well, if it's the ROR, the only it's wonderful. But the only problem is the zippers. The, the dust gets in the zipper and it gets stuck all the time. So I have to put candle wax on the zipper mm -hmm. or WD-40 and then then it's okay. But I thought that the zippers are kind of covered like this. Okay. But beautiful, beautiful jacket. I love the quality. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was an attempt uh, to give it a shot and uh, those guys, they told me uh, not to go any further. No, they wanted to go through and uh, they actually turned around as well. It's way too soft. I'm uh, not going to be able to accomplish much. Uh, I thought I'm going to head out there and uh, find a nice spot, but unfortunately uh, no, no chance. Uh, look at her. <laughs> she was uh, laying in the mud. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's look for more trouble. Whew, that was a workout. The tires are full of mud, so don't have much traction at this, at this point. You gotta be careful. Let's get this mud out of there. Oh, this is open. All right, so it's time to do this review. And relax for a bit. All right, guys. So after that uh, muddy experience, I figured uh, I found a decent location to do this uh, review for you of Mice Biker uh, Alarm for your motorcycle. Pretty simple setup. Uh, I got it off Amazon. It uh, comes with a storage pouch, uh, cable, and uh, the whole alarm which mounts on your on your uh, front disc um, what's included uh, what was included in the package here of course i don't have any more of the original box because uh, i have had this thing for a few years now and uh, it serves me well anytime uh, you're leaving your bike at the hotel or anything like that uh, you can safely leave the bike there i wouldn't trust uh, with my life on it but uh, somebody can steal it anyway so if they want to load the bike on the truck and take off that's uh, 
<laughs> that's a given, but uh, at least uh, it gives a little bit of noise and might scare some people away. It's pretty simple to uh, put it on a bike. And again, the brand name that, uh, that it is, uh, it is a Mice Biker from Amazon. And I post, uh, post the link below in the description if you want it. And it comes with uh, the cable that attaches uh, here uh, between the disc and the other end, oh, yeah. you clamp it on the uh, brake lever. Uh, storage pouch, um, nothing spectacular, but uh, at least it uh, keeps uh, all the crap away from it uh, when you have it in your tank bag. And also a set of the replacement batteries. That's what, all it came with. So I will show you uh, right now uh, how that works. It is a pretty simple mechanism. Uh, maybe I should get closer here and I show you. So. To lock it, all you do is slide it on the disc and there is a little lever that goes through and makes an audible sound and it's locked. Of course, uh, that cable has to be inside. Uh, now, as soon as uh, pretty much uh, it's very sensitive, when you touch the bike, it will sound the alarm. And it's 110 decibels, so it's, it is quite loud. To disarm it, put the key and it disarms it. That simple. So let's get into the bike and I will show you how it performs. All right, so you put your cable there through here first. Find one of the openings on your disc brake. Arm it and it is done. Now, all you have to do, this is just a reminder cable uh, if uh, that, that you have this thing on. So anytime you go on a bike and uh, you forget about uh, removing this, uh, that cable is gonna remind you that it's there. Uh, so I would really recommend using that, this cable because uh, you don't wanna take off with uh, this thing being mounted right on your disc. So this is just a warning and uh, when you trigger it you gotta hit it a bit harder and now it's uh, doing its job so disarm it turn the key and remove this from the bike so i hope uh, you found that uh, interesting and helpful and uh, I've seen a few posts, uh, how do you secure your bike well, uh, if you not uh, buy it. Uh, so this is uh, how I do it. Um, you can go ahead and click on the link. Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't pay me anymore uh, for even showing you this. Uh, I'm doing this on my own. Figure it was worth sharing with you guys. Until now, uh, Amazon approved me for affiliate uh, marketing, uh, but they told me that I don't have enough subscribers yet and uh, they they cannot pay me anymore so. thank you guys whoever purchased anything uh, through my affiliated links uh, that's appreciated because they still gonna pay me out uh, the whole six dollars uh, that i made uh, uh, whoever clicked or on any of the items and uh, until i gonna start uh, getting uh, money from amazon at least uh, that little change money i gonna have to wait until i get my uh, thousand subscribers on youtube if i will ever get there hopefully um, thank you uh, to everyone that subscribed to my channel until now that's uh, being appreciated a lot i'm getting Getting closer to the 500 uh, mark which uh, makes me happy that uh, some of you are watching those videos uh, that's really appreciated I have fun making those videos and I have fun riding the bike and scuba diving so I figure why not share it with everyone anyway so until next time I'll see you guys uh, around on the next adventure it looks like the weather is improving now hopefully it will get better I'm looking forward to the summer I'm uh, getting sick of being locked up uh, throughout the winter in a house and uh, with the exception of a uh, couple times um, getting away skiing uh, with family to British Columbia. Until next time, cheers and I will head home now in a different way so I will still record the footage on the way back um, until the certain point because the rest uh, it's on my previous video. You can always uh, feel free to browse through the channel. So let's have some fun and check out the views here.
so now it's time to go home I'm gonna have to come back here that's for sure wow I got 120 kilometers to get home so crossing that little canyon again So that's it for today guys thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there i don't know what i will come up with uh, in the next adventure maybe i'll head out together with my buddies as you saw in this video it's not the brightest idea to be by yourself uh, even though i would manage no problem to pick that bike um, but uh, i was lucky that uh, there was no group of those guys and they helped me out to lift it it's always much easier on your body to lift that heavy pig so uh, stay away from mud like this because uh, you're not gonna get far uh, you need a lighter bike uh, to to have fun like this